film in blood. No, I was about to. Oh, sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. And we're just going over to Denny's to get some breakfast and get ourselves ready for a massive day of getting stuff sorted. Super exciting. Yeah, awesome to be here. What's up, dears? It's never been like headed up to Denny's. Why? I don't know. One, one, time, one time in my life. That one time happened. it happened to me. Do you reckon it's when you eat so much food, all the blood goes to your stomach and it's just like. Sorry, I can't be in your head right now. I'm busy digesting your food. The buses here make really, really funny noises. They do. School bus. Sweet. When they're slowing down to stop, they go. <laughs> and then when they break at lights, they squeak really high. And it sounds like someone stepped on their tail. Check out these really sparkly drum kids. Balancing a sense of urgency with calm, you know. I don't know. Good hustle, loads of fun, hard work, but we're a little bit pooped. Now we're gonna go and be sociable and have a barbecue and try and muster up some energy so that we can be nice. Today's been really fun. Today has been really, really fun. But Today it's just like, it's fun, relaxed time rather yeah. than fun, muscle time. Yeah, and it's kind of when you're sitting still, it's harder to stay awake. <gasps> so we're gonna grab a shower and then Turn around and go back out. Go eat some food. Eat some food. Alright guys, it's the end of day one of NAM, as in the open day to the public, to the buyers. It was awesome. All of us have got like sore feet and our eyes are really dry because it's air conditioned everywhere you go. But it was really good fun. Met loads of cool people. I think tonight we're gonna get an early night because we are all super, super tired. We'll be halfway through a sentence and just... But yeah, so we're gonna go and get some food and meet the guys from Anderton's and, um, and then, yeah, come back and basically sleep. So, uh, yeah, see ya. I just met Miles. Hi. Uh, this guy is super cool, great player. Okay, so yeah, he just taught me this thing. I'm gonna do it. I'm not cool enough to do it. I freaked out the first time. Like that, and then it, yeah, and then it clicked. I think that was smooth. That was smooth. Thanks, Miles. Thank you. two is over. As you can hear my voice isn't too bad actually. It doesn't feel great. Um, it's kind of hard. It's one of those situations where you're like I shouldn't be yelling so I'm being really careful. I'm using loads of vocal zones. They are saving me. Thank you guys for those. If I don't have to talk, I don't talk. I'm trying not to yell. I'm trying to get really close to people which is weird for people that you don't know. You have to get like super super close but that's fine. And so yeah now we've just packed everything down. Everybody's left and the show is empty. This way? Well, this way. Yeah, this that's very fine. strange. Can you play Slayer on it, though? That's the thing. <laughs> okay. That's okay. water. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 why, why are you doing that? Because it feels like the wrong, my wrists aren't bending. Yeah, that's it. Good job, that's it. There you go. Can you take a picture of us? I can take a picture of you.
sun's come out. The sun's come out Today. tomorrow. Better than your better than your better. This is such a this is such a Hannah perfect rig. It is, isn't it? Tiny hug size. We are going back to the convention center. Nam is finished. We are just doing the final bits of pack down, and then we're heading off to Florida. We have zero plans. Zero plans. So hopefully we'll get up to some cool stuff, and we won't just sit in the airport for a week. Thanks to the guys at Walrus for this cool hat. I don't normally wear hats because my head's so small, but I'm wearing it because they're cool guys. So thank you. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Nam Glam is gone. <laughs> End of Nam. It was awesome. It was really, really super cool. In terms of vlog or vlog material, I was hoping to get some really cool artsy shots, LA traffic stuff, style stuff, chatting with loads of different people. It has been so incredibly busy um, that I haven't really had the chance to do that. Hopefully, I've got enough for you guys to kind of just get a little view into what it was like to be at the NAMM show. Amazing to be around so many musicians and kind of people of inspiration. Aside from that, I've actually had so many amazing, incredible, thought-provoking, inspiring, motivating conversations this week and it is a great environment for that. It's really, really, really loud um, at the shows and we were in like the loudest corner with all the shreddy guitarists and drums and stuff like that and yelling basically for like five days, six days straight and um, yeah, but the thing that has saved my voice is straw therapy. It's not something that I'm like massively clued up on, but I've been uh, doing straw therapy. I was using cocktail straws, but actually found like these kind of regular size straws have been um, way better and you can kind of adjust your pressure with your teeth. Oops. Yeah, basically what it does is it resets your voice, resets your vocal cords. But that has basically saved my voice and I did that uh, every morning, every evening, uh, tried to give myself as much vocal rest as possible, later in the day especially, um, but it is just so hard when there's so many people to talk to and, um, and I am a chatty person, I am a talker, so um, yeah, I find, I find it quite difficult to rest my voice when there's so many awesome people around to talk to. Really cool actually, I met loads of people who, who were super excited about Chapman guitars and about Dorje and about Tosca and I met some of you who watched my videos and it was really really cool to meet you. Can't remember all of your surnames but Theodore or Theo, you were super cool man. Um, Miles, a great player, really cool. Peter, Peter Rowland, thank you so much for doing me the favour of going and chatting with TC Helicon. I unfortunately couldn't get to chat with them because they are super elusive. As you guys know I use TC Helicon Voice Live Touch 2 when I'm performing live. I love that piece of gear, like that takes my performing to the next level. I really enjoy that and it helps with my songwriting as well. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe you've broken it already. We're going to Florida. <laughs> 